Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, I already went and kindled this, because I'm pretty sure you guys do not need to see me do that every single time. Especially if it's like at the end of a video I didn't. Alright. Now that I'm getting my, getting my, stre my strength sc stat up, let's actually look at the stats for a second. Alright. I'm, I'm going to get my strength to 40, then I'm going to then I'm going to go back to... I'm going to try and get my dexterity a bit higher, because as you know, my goal is to use the the Zweihander later. Ring of Sons Firstborn. Uh, I guess we could have a, at some point, I'll have a, like a, a proper lore video. Where just we like read all the descriptions and all that. Yeah, I mean, if you guys want, but um, so yeah, I'm going to try and get my dexterity up a bit. I want to get the, the, um... I, I do want to reach the soft caps for, like, my vital things. Strength, I want to get to 50. I know 40 is the hard cap. I think, if I remember correctly, getting to 50 just, even though it's very minor, is just outrightly better. Dexterity. I, s like, uh, I don't know, I think 30 should be fine for that, depending on, you know, the soul level. Because you actually look at the Zweihander, it's um, no, it's, it's up a bit. Right, remind me to start sorting these out later. Yeah, it's got it's got a low scaling for dexterity. But yeah, I, I am gonna try and hit the soft caps for the important stuff, and when that's done. Uh, Come on, let me get your tail. Wow, he hit me more than the actual boss did. Alright, I'm missing way too much for my own liking. Come on, come on, I want the tail. It, it's, a, it, it's, my, it's my monster hunter thing. I want the tail. Come on, come on. Yeah, it's, it's not the same, like, majesty without the boss music. Though I, I'm, I'm, I, I wager he's tougher. Alright, I'm not gonna get his tail. He's gonna die before I get his tail. Can you cut his tail off? Because I know I did enough damage to... I cut the other one's tail off in one hit. And this one breathes lightning. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get anything from it. I got a shield though. Okay, enough screwing around. We got a city. T we got a. Um, I don't know if we can call it the city we're investigating. More like just kind of like this one big building. Hmm. Oh God! Wait, I forgot this part. Yeah, I remember what I was telling you about with cutting it down. That's probably going to come to play in a minute. No, we, we we don't need to talk to each other in any... at all. We're good. Oh, that's right. This one... Wait. I think they open? Maybe they don't. Um... Remember. And you guys. Alright, I asked for that one. Okay, quickens. See what I mean? Quickens are the, are always a, are tougher. What died? Oh, I guess one. I guess one of these things jumped back. Ah, 
Alright, he's gonna come back up here now. I know people probably touched on it, but the general aesthetic, these things don't fit. I mean, they fit in the same way I guess the gargoyles fit. Like, winged monstrosities. I mean, generally speaking, they're not all that different, except the gargoyle has a bit of armor on it. Hello! I mean, but there's a clear difference. The gargoyles, like, you can imagine a gargoyle being on one of these things, like, they just didn't do it. And they have armor. Like, it makes a bit of more sense for the gargoyles to be here. These things are just fleshy. With weird warp sticks. I'm not gonna bother fighting them. Okay. Yep. And now we're in the arrow run. Let's see, I'm... If if I make it one go, no matter what I've done, I've always had trouble with this part. Alright, he's not using... And nope. Chuck up one. Let's see how many we're going to get. One death to the arrows. Stay close to the wall, do not go to the edge. Stay close to the wall, do not go to the edge. This is card is gonna be tedious, I know. I might just like edit it for that purpose alone. But um what else can I say right now about Erlando? It's like, this is the point when they said, alright, all your ideas, everything you had, that you worked with, forget it. But like, the, the, like, the bit, the, um, not the banner, the, uh, rafter room. Obviously, because I already went over that. Any, your whole jumping around, even if you stay still and whatever, you have to attack the enemies there and move forward. Unless you are literally doing Spartan style and moving inch by inch forward. When I say Spartan, I mean proper, not 300. And even this one getting through here. Not a problem getting through the, this part. Oh, come on. Did they just open this gate? I remember that gate not being open. I remember the little, one, the little door being open. But not the gate. I guess they do so the thing can actually chase you through it. And then this part right here. Like, sure, a fast deck style is going to help you a lot more here. That may but once you get up there, it's not going to be near hel as helpful, is it? There we go. Now slowly, slowly, slowly. Oh, did it in two. Did it in two. Yes. Oh, yay. I was going to have to waste an entire video doing that part. I'm extremely happy about this. There's Solaire. What's up, buddy? Oh, there you are. You've been quiet these days. Smooth summoning out there. Anytime you see my brilliancy shining, you've left me with quite an impression. I was... 
I did. You really are fond of chatting with me, if I didn't know better. Oh no, dear me, pretend you didn't hear that. <laughs> you really are, if I didn't know better. Well, you're the, really the only proper cheery guy that's not incredibly creepy. Oh, right. Uh, use, these are my last humanities, so at the, at the, after this... I might have to do some humanity farming runs. Which, don't worry, you will not be seeing. Kindle this. Because this is the last good bonfire in Anorlando until the bosses. So, leave. We are going to do a little bit of exploring now. Let's let's see what we can find. Go in here. Anything that way? Not just this guy. Hello. One and two. All right. One more hit. Bait it out. Done. Oh. Yeah, I am definitely get starting to get a little bit greedy with my attacks now. Sunlit metal. Now I, I have, how many other firekeeper souls are there? I know where I'll be getting one. Probably. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. S what was that from? Oh wait, wasn't that a thing that happens if someone kindles the bonfire at the same time as you or near you? Hmm. I forget. Uh. Right. Now this is not my favorite armor set, at, but. I do like it. If you didn't know, this is how you find Havel set. That's a mimic. That's not. Dragon Tooth. Havel's Great Shields. I don't know why it required four chests, unless there was some weird coding thing where they only put one or two items in the chest at a time. I asked for that one. Come on, confusing on the geography. Yeah, no, this is like the scariest what room to fight him in. Because, like, it's all dark. It makes sense why it's all dark in here. Occult club. Yeah, and they said, like, Havel was, like, going to war with the gods or something. That's why it's an occult club in here. I don't know. That might just. That could easily just be because. You know, the mimic had it and it just settled down in here. Because there's no explanation for the mimics. They just kind of are around. Something from this side. Alright, check over here. Alright, looks like we're going up. Like, it makes sense why Havel's stuff would be in that room. Right? We know where Havel was. We fought Havel, so this is not Havel's actual armor. I think it actually says that. Um, yeah, let's look at it. Havel Rock's warriors, yeah. We fought Havel him himself. Not um, anything special in that regard. 
No, I'm wrong. It was something special. We fought Havel, the rock. So that means this armor is not his armor. So here's what I postulate. The, the, this armor belonged to one of Havel's warriors. We know that part. What I'm thinking is that it, after Havel was imprisoned for either going hollow or something else, his warriors just like abandoned the gods. That's why he has an occult club. It's not because of any other reason than the simple fact that Alright, he went hollow and you did nothing to help him. He was our, like, leader. They killed a lot of drakes. Why is this open? I remember there being something at that... Oh, something... Oh, maybe it's on the floor below? Hmm. Now, hold on. A lot of minics here. <laughs> and done. Because we know Quinn allowed a lot of messed up things to happen. He didn't, like, uh, with Seethe and everything else, so it's entirely possible that, like, Havel... We know Havel did not like Seethe. And McGuinn knew that it was Seethe that let them have this entire kingdom in the first place. With that in mind, I would say that Gwyn allowed, allowed... locked up Havel because Havel was start t causing too much trouble with Seethe. Right? And see, or, or rather, he lost hope. He got the Curse of the Undead and he lost hope. And because he lost hope, he, he, went, um, un he went undead and they locked him up. And to appease Seethe, because... As we know, like, Gwyn, like, I guess, felt he owed Seethe. He let Seethe lock up Havel. And after that, that's when Havel's followers abandoned Gwyn. Angry that he had allowed the, dr the Pale Drake to, um, do what he did. Because that's not Havel's armor. Havel wasn't staging a rebellion against the gods. He just lost hope when Gwyn decided to s side with Seethe over him. Now, as you do... Yeah, that's just my thoughts on that. Sorry, I'm just trying to make sure there's not no one trying to sneak up on me here. Alright. I'm just trying really hard not to loot, not to die, because I... If I die, I don't have any way of getting humanity. Oh, keep going this way. No, not this way. Um... Ah, Sigmire. I like how he actually sits there and thinks about it. 
Everyone else just jumps in, does what they do. Okay, no, 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 no. Back away, back away. Draw them over this way, draw them over this way. Even if they respawn, it's fine. Oh god, almost hit Sigurd. Uh, got a lot of souls too. As long as we get rid of it. Alright, done. Three bodies, five bodies, I mean... In all honesty, he could probably take these on his own. He just... Because he must have had to run away and close the door. If, if he got... Or he just, like, felt like five... Like, three of them was too much to handle. And uh, then again, I guess you are a you are the player. You don't follow the same rules they do. Hmm. What's on your mind? Wait, you defeated those monsters? Fantastic! I'm taking this. I'll be warned. Gallantry entails great risk. Next We're time. undead. Give me a chance to come up with a plan. Well, I mean, you have a great sword of some description, I'm sure. I could have just brought them in here, followed me, and you could have hit them from behind, and then just one at a time. I mean, given that, I mean, even if we, sp even if we took one one away from the equation, that's still like not. I wouldn't say evens the field, but it certainly does enough to make make a difference. Alright, that's it. I'm going downstairs, cash in these souls. I know in the original Demon Souls, the thing they did was, uh... What's the word here? You had to go to a specific NPC, and they did that for all of them. Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, and uh, especially in um, Bloodborne. Level up. Strength at 30. Oh yeah, I'm going to try and get strength to 40 right now. That, that's my... that That's the hard cap for strength. Once it, once it does that, should be alright. I should be able to actually upgrade this club a bit, too. And then we're going back up. Let's see... Let's see how much we can get done before I... Oh, right, they respawned. I like their little capes. Their little capes are kind of adorable. Now this one doesn't open, right? I went that way and this one didn't open. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping to either find a piece of humanity piece of humanity as if it's like what anyway my that's my general hope is to find some humanity just in case I do happen to kick the bucket hello I do actually like how these guys are actually a, like a challenge. Like they, I I think one one on one to one they are weaker than the Dark Knights, but they just seem like more of a challenge to me. Because they like cause they have like I think they have different moves, or rather not hefting around gigantic weapons limiting what they can do. I had my shield up. Come on. Alright. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to try and clear this place out a little bit. Go down here. After we clear it out. All right, you know what? No. I can see Anuana being a four-part four part thing. Ah, uh, the AI makes me laugh. Like, at that point, like, if you were a player and I'm doing the Estus, you would not do a shield bash. You would just, alright, stab. Alright, good. Now, uh, is there stuff over here that I... Is there anything over here of any description? Because I know Dark Souls does have a couple of paths that are just like, no, nothing. Alright. Which I think it, it, it's good for world building, because... Oh, I get amazing treasure head, and this one tells you it's a liar. Aww. Because in a real castle, there would not be treasure on every single, um, you know, route. Sometimes it's just... it's nothing. There we go. Now, um... Oh, shit, they forgot there's two in here. Nope. Alright, bring him to the open area. He's got a spear. So you don't want to fight him in a closed space. Why, or like a hallway. Big, big sweeping at weapons are best in open spaces. Spears and whatnot are best in not open spaces. I really want to two-hand this, but at the same time, I know I'm going to need the shield. Come on, come on! <sighs> this way, this way. Back up. That's right. Since he's using a spear, he can keep his shield up. I forgot that. It's the halberd that doesn't let you do that. Which I guess makes a bit, more, a bit of sense. And... That does it. What? No, these are both fine. What do you, what's in you? Silver Knight Gauntlets. And... Oh, what is it? Like two items per chest? Is that like the code for the game? These people really do not like the drakes. Okay. Now, uh... If I remember correctly... This is... No. No. It's the go, I have to go upstairs for it. Of which I am slightly scared. Alright. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take on the Titanite Demon... And we're going to see how far we get with that. If I end up losing my souls, I'll call the video. I'll just end the video there. You have no head to breathe. All right, this is going to whittle away at him, which. Which makes sense, actually, because why would it... But why... How did he even get in here? Yeah. I knew that was going to happen. Alright. Well, seeing the damage I was doing to this guy, I'm just going to run back up, grab my souls, and get out. And pray I can find humanity somewhere. Show you that bit, just so you take take out this guy first. And done.
Alright, I just want to rush through this. With luck, my souls will be outside the room. Well, right at the front of the room. Good enough. Excuse me. Wow. He just says, like, nope. Back away, back away, back away. Yeah, this is a lot more like, um... Like, with the, uh, church... It's, uh, in the beginning... It's nowhere near this. You're not actually fighting, um... Season War, so it's like a st it's like you're storming the castle. Here, it really is like um, it's not not a battle of attrition. What's the word? It's a slow grind because they are actually tough. You're not running through, bringing them down with one blow and saying next. All right. Well, that's a, I think that's a good place for now to call it quits because well, I actually just like being here and I like to do more videos on Arlando. Anyway, next time we're gonna try and get through get through to that demon and hunt for humanity. Level up. Do I have enough? Yes, I have enough for a level up. Cool. At this point, I think we're reaching that point when level leveling is getting less useful. But, uh, words. If you like this, you know, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and, uh, talk to you, talk to you next time. Bye-bye.